and it's another news day how you guys doing don't forget to uh, like and subscribe the video go over to roku and add the insane throttle tv app as well as download the insane throttle radio app over on google play and go like and follow us over on instagram at in what is it official insane throttle yes there you go tongue tied it is what it is i was never the best at the english language today we got some good stories starting out with a club helping uh, deliver some turkeys good stuff man it's that time of year where clubs are helping those that are in need also we have an inside report about the Aryan circle which also has an offshoot motorcycle club yeah it's one of them things where you have a prison gang and then you have an offshoot motorcycle club and then a street crew yes indeed they still exist in these times let's hit the intro Okay, who's ready for some biker news? Yes, we do this. This is how we do it. We're covering all the good things in the beginning, then we get to the not so good things uh, towards the end, and then of course it's wall of shame time where Hollywood shows the hypocrisy when cops call clubs gang when they got the same thing happening within their ranks. Here we go. Motorcycle club club delivers the turkeys yes concord monitor com the nam knights of america white mountain chapter recently purchased 100 turkeys 16 to 18 pounds each from a market basket they picked them up on saturday morning to distributed them to eight different organizations uh the new hampshire veterans home uh tilton american legion veterans center uh four concord uh, firehouses vash program the food pantry it goes on and on boy did they hit this one man a turkey a hundred of them remember travis craig said that when they called the veterans home in tilton to offer them turkeys they explained that they were not able to get any turkeys from their food vendor and this couldn't have come at a better time with a donation of 20 turkeys they will be able to feed all their patients over 100 of them uh craig goes on to say it feels uh, so great to do some good in this world as you know there is a supply yes a supply crisis out there and a lot of the meats inflation's getting real bad so for the nam knights to do this and there's all other kinds of clubs doing this right now those turkeys had uh cost a, a good amount of money so a hundred of them and then uh they're 16 to 18 pounds each yeah lots of money right there uh anyway uh bikers boot drive to benefit area kids this christmas huntington is continuing a six-year holiday tradition if you drove through guy and dot in huntington this afternoon you may have spotted good old saint nick the Way Ferries Motorcycle Club held a boot drive along 3rd Avenue to help buy Christmas present presents for families who might not be able to afford them this year. The club's president says since they started this fundraiser, it's grown every year. As our membership has grown and as our, our involvement in the community has grown and people started to give back, it's accelerated to now where we're helping out in excess of 20 families a year, which is a great thing. Yeah. If you're interested in donating to this cause, we have a link on our website with more information at WOWKTV.com. Oh, yeah, there you go right there. Good stuff. It's happening all over the place, all over the place. Now, here is a story out of the Rolling Stone. Throat stabbing and tattoo removal by flaming log. Yes, it's a federal RICO case happening uh, Thursday, which must have been uh, this past week. 
Federal authorities announced the conviction of a Texas man in Missouri, man in a federal RICO case against members uh, of the Aryan Circle. The indictment describes crimes attributed to that gang that include murder, stabbings, kidnappings, and burning off one another's gang tattoos with flaming logs and hot metal pipes. Hmm. Quote, today's verdicts keep two violent white supremacists from wreaking havoc and hate on the streets of America. This from the Bureau of ATF and uh, Explosives in Houston. Now, this indictment uh, originally was filed in October of 2020. It named a dozen alleged Aryan Circle members uh, with nicknames like Turbo, Bear, Big Kev, Aryan Prodigy, uh, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, court documents offer insight into the workings of the gang, describing the Aryan Circle as a violent race-based whites-only gang that started in the 80s in Texas and whose hundreds of members operate inside prisons across several states as well as in the what the gang refers to as the free world. The organization has a uh, structure of kind of like the military uh, with branches in different states and prison systems, as well as a biker subgroup. Biker subgroup. And then it goes on about how they attend church and all that kind of stuff. That story is going to be in the description section so you guys can check that out one thing uh, uh some of the new generation don't know it used to be where certain organizations had the idea of having a street crew having a biker crew and then having a prison crew that way they can interact within the different scenes and where the money is made it's some hardcore stuff really hardcore uh, it's not a traditional motorcycle club within that type of uh, environment so don't get them confused it's a totally different set that they're going in between with they're not a motorcycle club they might ride motorcycles they might wear patches but in the end the loyalties to inside where most of their members came from or went into if you know what i mean that's where a lot of these feds they get on their high horse and because one or two guys do something they blame it on the club i have to agree though a, a setup like this really does hurt clubs and it's always putting the white bikers in the white supremacy category if you will so just remember that it's a different organizational structure than your regular motorcycle club just remember that very important now we're gonna go to our wall of shame 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 this one's a pretty disgusting one really disgusting one if you ask me Hines city police officer arrested for sexual battery and yes burglary it always happens it really does. It always happens with the uh, wall of shame. The biggest crime that you will find cops and ex-cops doing is the sexual battery stuff. Hines City, Florida. A Hines City police officer has been suspended after he was arrested by deputies in Central Florida. Police said Orange County Sheriff's deputies arrested 38-year-old Jason Raphael on Sunday. Rodas was charged with sexual battery on a physically helpless victim, as well as battery with assault or battery, the agents say. 
According to the Heinz police, Roldados has been an officer since November 1927 or uh, 2007. They said he was paid an annual salary of 50 G's. Now, if you imagine if he got busted doing this now and has been a cop since then, what other stuff could really happen during that time? Think about that. Nasty stuff, man. Nasty stuff. Uh, going into Burnaby, uh, controversial Burnaby Firefighters Biker Club featured in a new doc. Oh, a doco, huh? Yeah, huh? That's not a good word with us around here right now. The Florian's Knights Motorcycle Club was made up of lower mainland firefighters but dissolved after Burnaby founder appeared in photo with three Hell's Angels and was fired. Yes, they'll fire you for anything nowadays, won't they? Burnaby Base uh, Firefighters Motorcycle Club that made headlines. We went over that already. Uh, it's now there's going to be a, a doco uh, streamed. It looks like I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix or what it's going to be on. Uh, but Florian's Knights Motorcycle Club, named after the patron saint of firefighters, was formed in 2016 and counted active and retired firefighters from Burnaby, Vancouver, North Vancouver, New Westminster. Uh, the local chapter broke in 28, or 2018 amid a flurry of negative media reports and the firing of one of its founders, Burnaby uh, firefighter Nick Elms. When a photo surfaced on social media of Elms posing with three Hell's Angels, and at the time, uh, the public safety minister, Mike Farnworth, was quoted in a Vancouver story, uh, Vancouver Sun story, saying it was disturbing on so many levels. And I guess, uh, Florian Knights, it's the movie, huh? And there's an official, uh, trailer on this one it's on youtube i gotta play it probably because of the music in there uh so this guy got together uh pan uh you, oh god you can't even say that damn name uh he started working with the club before the media firestorm erupted and what drew him was something much more positive which I don't even see why they think taking a pictures with three ales angels is a problem. Uh, but that's them up there. They got different stuff up in uh, Canada. What am I talking about? They do the same thing down here, man. Uh, they make it all kinds of messed up. But this doco is uh, going to be, I think it's on, I don't know. I'll have to research this and let you guys know more of where it is. The story link's going to be in the description box. You look at that trailer if you want to uh interesting business man very interesting business but that thing with that cop man if you think about it if he was with that department since 2007 i believe it was what kind of stuff was he doing between then and now with see he they these type of people get off on power they get off on the badge so anything is possible it's just sick thinking about it sitting there doing a sexual battery on somebody that can't fight back nasty people out here man nasty people and also i don't want you guys to forget that that club setup if you want to call it that is not like the traditional club setup so don't buy into what the media is talking about with that stuff just don't buy into it it's a lot different uh type of organization uh if you ever have questions about that just uh, give me a uh email or i am me i on instagram at official insane throttle but we're going to be going into the second half of the show after this music break i'll talk to you guys later over on youtube have a good one to the extent that pending criminal matters are discussed on this website or youtube channel all such charges are merely accusations and all defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law
download the Insane Throttle Radio app and listen to the hottest modern rock on the planet. No commercials at all. Just hard rock and roll, baby. Download the Insane Throttle Radio app for Android now on Google Play. Rock on.